So to be honest, our kingdom is looking pretty small right now, but we can expand it by just finding a random piece of land here and ramming into it. Yes, lovely. And we can also do the same thing to little islands with enemies on them. We just tell our guys to attack over there and then connect. And then once they go to war and we inevitably win, their structures become ours. And then we just destroy them all and then we take over their little place and now we can get even more units, which lets us capture more lands right down here. Let's just line up so we get a good, shape for our land just to ease my sense of style we connect they go to war and then we take over beautiful they don't stand a chance but now our kingdom is too big so we have to downsize thankfully these two structures are the same so we can just go ahead and merge them so we fulfill that requirement and our units get an upgrade but now we also need to just get rid of some land so we'll get rid of some pointless dirt and grass so we can just go ahead and move into a new area to take out some more land this little area does have more land but it's a lower threat than the other one so we're gonna go here first and hopefully find some more good what is this over here we got some death units crazy let's just go ahead and capture some free real estate over here because the structures depend on the land around them to get better just go ahead and click that in yes and of course there's more land way on the other side of everything we just gotta thread the needle staying away from these sentry towers and then we connect to the land no problem now our kingdom has a nice little hex shape you also notice that the barracks over here are a higher level than the ones over here so let's go over here first and take out this little portal here because we can't capture it we just have to destroy it and we can also really funnel the approach of troops by connecting over this way gently over here there we go now hopefully they're not stronger than my units Ooh, but we're already destroying the portal good very good that should really thin out their numbers and then we go ahead and take out their barracks can we own these barracks or we just destroy them i've actually never seen these before hey we do take them over nice no. and i do like the looks of this little bridge here so let's just go ahead and focus all of our units there and then find a good approach on this island probably next to this sentry tower so we can just destroy that right away go attack destroy them all i turned your brothers against you now they serve me yes just keep going keep pushing through it's good that these barracks are right here because we can send in these units right away and we did it we captured everything now let's just go ahead and conquer this sentry tower so that's also on our side very good proceed and the good news is since we have these barracks we can merge them although they also rely on death essence which is different from my units which rely on life essence to get better well we do have a lot of death land right now so these units might actually be better to stick with even though our main castle is irreversibly life essence dependent we can get rid of the sentry tower at least because we don't need it and now we can also buy some upgrades so we can afford to keep more tiles that's a good idea to start with and these guys right now are a little bit over their maximum for death essence so let's go ahead and just remove some of the land there so they stay nice and balanced and these guys are a little bit underdeveloped so what if we just move the land over here so they get just a little bit more there we go in the center of everything they get so many bonuses we need to find a good spot for you our castle is pretty well stocked on life essence so we could remove some land from you to dedicate to our barracks over here there that seems to be well balanced but we are over on structure limit anyway what do i like more the bone barracks or the regular barracks it looks like the bone units do more damage but they have less health and i need a lot more gold in order to afford another structure as it is so we'll just say goodbye to the death units and then we make sure all of these are balanced and we actually have enough room for one more tile but I kind of sold too many. That's okay. We'll just go ahead and capture some more. Right over here. Doctor Review. Sounds like a YouTube channel. Okay, there's not a lot of free land, but there is a free tower over here that isn't owned by anybody. So that's some free real estate if I ever saw any. Just carefully merge us in. Yes, I like this. And now we have a defensive tower. Or it could become an offensive tower if we just find a good place to crash into. What are these? They have bees. So we could get some flying units. Uh-oh, they're already sending flying units. Good thing I have a defensive tower. Just run away. Stay away. How do you have this much range? Go away. How are you guys so persistent? You know what? Fine. I'm just going to go ahead and take over this land. So at least I get some units to go and take out your hive when I get around to it. And yes, okay, I curved them around. So now the tower's attacking them and we took them out. Good. And now we have some more melee units. I don't want these guys attacking me much more. So let's just go ahead and conquer this island here. Just ramming them at full speed so our tower can go ahead and attack those golems some. And then we destroy this tower and let's attack the hive right away just so we can get rid of the flying units that my guys can't attack. And then we'll get them onto our side. Yes, very good. Good. Okay, now we have some bees eventually. And then we just destroy the portal. Good. And we destroy the tower. Very good. And look, we have some.
have some beads of our own and they're blue. Da -ba -dee -da -doo. And the whole island is ours. Okay. B problem solved. Except this guy's still attacking. Okay. Can you just not? Thank you, blue bees, for showing up when I need you. Oh, don't crash into that. Ooh, they actually have some archers down here. That could be helpful for us. You know what? If the enemy can do it, then so can I. Let's just go ahead and send the bees in first to kind of distract them. And then, you know what? We have enough melee units that they really shouldn't be a problem anyway. And I have a nice spot for their little patch of land right here. Beautiful. Clicked in very nicely. And and now their land is our land. But we have a lot of space to get through. And also just a lot of structures. Thankfully, we have storage now. So we can go ahead and store these level one barracks until we're ready to merge them. We'll keep the defensive tower central to everything. And if I just sell this little patch of land, then I can actually go in here and afford to hold another structure. Nice. So the defensive tower actually can go away since I can't upgrade it anyway. And then we just sell a little bit more land that I can't do anything with. And then we'll see how many extra tiles we can support by spending money. We can have 10. I think 10 is a good number. We'll get rid of some grassy fields because we have a forest to replace it with. And the bees aren't getting as much essence as the other structures. So let's go ahead and hold off on them for now until we can merge them. That solves the structure problem. And then let's just sell these three up here. And now our land is good. And of course, this bit of violence. Oh, hello, new spells. And then let's go ahead and use that defensive tower as kind of like a bottleneck for units to pass through. So we can go ahead and just set it up like this. Capture some more archers, which is always good. But then let's move those archers into the heart of everything so they're not just off on their own. And they're already sending in the bees, which is not ideal. And then let's go ahead and take out their barracks right away. Attack! And they just called down a volley of arrows. Lovely. Let's just call down some more archers. And it actually seems like they're pushing forward in my place a little bit. I don't like that as much. But we are slowly damaging their barracks. The sooner they can't use it, the sooner I can advance. Yes. And can the archers attack the sentry tower as well? Ooh, we're pushing up. Yes. Go, go, go. You attack this one. You attack this one. Oh, gosh. Volley of arrows. That hurts. Now we just take out the portal, which is constantly summoning more troops. There we go. There we go. Major threats seem to be taken out for the most part. All the major structures are ours, and the day is won. Now we just have a weird shape to our kingdom going the long way. In any case, we'll just dock right here. Okay, not the best time, but we can detach to line ourselves up a little bit better. No, no, no. I want you a little more over. Ooh, careful. Just slide this in very gently. And you know what? Over there is good. Good enough. Oh gosh, don't crash into that. This random bit of land that I can't claim. All right, that, that kind of works. And they're sending in more bees from wherever else. So rude. You know what? What if I send my own bees? Ooh, they have a farm. Nearby spawners will produce more golems per wave. Oh, that's important. Let's just go ahead and claim it as soon as possible. And our archers can attack their barracks from way over here. That's good. Aha, attack from the rear. Can the archers reach this one? It doesn't look like they can. I didn't realize they had archer barracks down here either. Very nice. And then take over these barracks. Oh no, another unit fell. Ah, and there's more units falling. Get away from the edge. At least we win. 50 islands to sort through. Goodness gracious. Ooh, we could get a fireball strike. I like the sound of that, but let's merge what we can. And now we have two level three barracks. So we get level, ooh, hello. Battle barracks, which, oh, they need the mountains. Interesting. Thankfully, we can slot you right there. And then some more hives get merged. So we have new hives, a wasp nest. Wow. And thankfully, that's fed just enough. Now, do I have enough to do that with archers? It doesn't seem like it yet. And you know what? If we put these right over here, slot some things around, very good. We can put the farm in the midst of all these ones, which will let them produce more golems. I like this. Ooh, and here's a good idea. I can just sell this entire chunk of land for a total of 60 gold. So now I have enough to afford one more structure. Yes. Which thankfully is exactly where we're at. I like this. I like the size of our kingdom. Them. Ooh, and you know what? We can get the arch we can get the archers connected to the farm as well. So now we get bonus units from everybody. Yes, very good. Oh, and this threat's actually pretty low. So we could go ahead and go here, which will give us access to the other islands. Sure. Our kingdom's looking pretty nice and defended. Ooh, look at the wasps. Wow, they look cool. Oh, and the battle golems as well. I like this. I like this a lot. Oh, you silly little bees. I have way more archers than you're used to. I actually just have more of everybody. So let's just go ahead and take over. And some of our golems go 
ahead and attack the guard towers, which kind of works. It also kind of doesn't. Let's just go ahead and solve that problem really quickly. And those boss have stingers too. That's good. These poor little sussy boys. They have no idea what they're in for. Uh oh, but they're attacking from the back. I don't like this. Quick, destroy them. There we go. Send everybody through this way and this way. We do a bit of a pincer move. And we're right next to the next island. Oh, wait, let's not park there yet. I need to get my units lined up. So now everybody's in place. And we just attack. Our forces are becoming really unstoppable right now. I like this. There's really nothing that they can do. Oh, look at this little island right here. They have a ballista with a huge attack radius that only points in one direction. Huh. Well, then why don't we just save ourselves the trouble and attack from the backside? They definitely didn't see this coming. Oh, you poor little structures. About to go down. Yes. Victory. Oh, we can't keep the ballista? Oh, that's too bad. So now if we merge these things and then these things, we should get the next level of archers. Battle archery, which also require mountains. Thankfully, I have those. I don't have anything that needs death, so let's get rid of all the dirt. And now we can afford to keep more tiles and sell all this land to keep even more tiles. So now we can have 20 tiles in our kingdom. I like that number. That's a good number. And let's also just go ahead and store away the normal bees to keep everybody nice and satiated. So if we sell all of you at once, we get 27 gold there, which will let us buy more tiles. Exactly once. Perfect. I feel like we're really gearing up to take on whatever this boss area is. Although this area here is a threat of 10. So that's a bit worrying. But let's just go ahead and take out some of the small fries. It seems like a lot more of the structures are... What? <laughs> I think I just saw a guy fall off of this place here. Oh, yeah, they are. Wow, they are very full on units there. As I was saying, it seems like a lot of these places are keeping some bees on their islands at all times. Let's just go ahead and send Arby's. Mmm, Arby's as well. It is too close to lunchtime for this. Let's just go ahead and take over. Ooh, they summoned in a lot of archers, actually. Wow, I'll just summon my own archers and let them just take out the towers so that we win and boot everybody else because they're imposters. And then let's just take over this little hex because I think we are able to. They have plenty of archers, but we have enough units to make up the difference there. Just send in all of our flyers, which, wow, get absolutely decimated. Charge! With the melee units. And now we slowly take over the barracks, even though they are fighting tooth and nail for it. But now the last portal goes down, and that's a win for us. Oh, <laughs> a last volley of arrows, really. And now the last couple of enemies are right over there. And if we connect to this right, we can get a sort of pincer movement happening, just like this. That works. It also splits our units a little bit, but there's really nothing that they can do. Oh my gosh, that ballista throws a bunch of rocks. Let's just send our flying units to take it out. There's nothing that they can do, thankfully. And now the rest of everything is ours. Nice. If that's what our threat level is, then I'm very much liking this. And we can... Uh oh, I forgot to reorient my units. So they're quickly taking out the archer barracks. That's fine. I still have it. Actually, I can just kind of merge the archer barracks to keep it safe. That actually works pretty well. And let's just swap these so they're closer. Nice. And even their archer volleys can't keep up with the sheer number of units that we have. This is excellent. And that's a victory. 60 units of land to get through. My goodness. We have a lot of land to sort through. So you know what? I'm just going to make it easy and just chop off this entire northern part of the kingdom. That gives us 52 gold. Nice. Just a little bit more and we can have another structure. So let's just store away these things for later and then sell everything down here that we don't need. So that gives us 14 more and that's just enough. Yes. For another structure. Good. And then all the other little things can go away while we buy to keep more tiles. And that works very well in our favor. So I think the number at the top was actually structure number, but I'm feeling confident enough to take out this boss area. Okay. Hey, fireball wizard is the boss. Where he be though? Oh, that's you. Look at you. Wow. Whoa, where'd he go? He can teleport islands? Oh, you're a feisty one, aren't you? Well, here's what I think we can do. We can, okay, he's, I think he might be teleporting to whatever island is closest to ours, or he's just on a cooldown. So let's just go ahead and conquer islands as quickly as possible. Yep, he's teleporting exactly to ours. So here, stasis everybody there, and then summon some archers here. And then let's try and stick everybody on the wizard. Maybe if he takes enough damage, he'll go away, which we are starting to damage him. He has 2000 health, which is hard to read there, to be honest. But okay, those fire balls are nasty. Thankfully though, okay, let's rejuvenate this, summon in some more archers there. We need to take out as many of his support structures as possible, which thankfully we're able to do, although he is being back us pretty badly. So here, let's, so here, let's separate. I would like to separate. Oh no, I lost a little bit of land. No. You know what? Fine. We damaged that island pretty good. So it's just a little bit of guerrilla warfare on our part. I don't think he can teleport to this one though, because there's no enemy structures on there and he is still launching fireballs. Oh no, that's the flame tower. Never mind. Oh, did he just... He just summoned his own thing of islands? 
That's not cool. I don't want him to have the special abilities I do. Hey, you know what? Fine. This fireball wizard really isn't making this easy. At least we can damage him some with just the bees. We, can we actually just whittle him down like this? He is still taking damage. Let's get our archers over here as well. And we're slowly taking down that guard tower as well. You know what? I'm just... Ooh, yes, he ran away. Good. Close in. Attack. Destroy the portals. Break down his reinforcements. If he decides to separate, we'll just go at him again. Oh, gosh. He just summoned a lot of things right there. That's fine by me because one portal is about to go down and he is back, unfortunately. Okay, we did a good amount of damage. It's time to separate, leaving his units that came with us high and dry. So we did beat back that one pretty bad. Ooh, there's a free barracks over here. I could use this, even if that flame tower decides to try and launch fireballs. I want to do the tactic I did before of just sending bees over there to whittle away some of the towers and beat at the wizard so he runs away. But he has quite a bit of range on those fireballs, which I don't like. So if I just circle him aggressively enough, maybe I can send in the melee units. So we take out this tower. Nice. Please take it out. Why is he on our island now? You know what? He's in my domain this time. You better run away to safety or else it's gonna be very bad for you. Yeah, he ran away. Oh, he got that little bit of land. That's not what I wanted. And I also lost this little bit of land. That's not what I wanted. But if we're really quick with it, we can send our units and attack. Oh, they connected right there? What was that about? Quick, get over there before you get taken out by the wizard oh no he's back on our island okay you know what now's a good time to separate and just attack the wizard exclusively please the sooner we can beat him down the sooner we can be done with this oh no he's taking over our barracks not good take a reclaim the barracks please please okay no enemy camps in our territory but man they have a lot of bees and did we just oh we almost lost the archers that's what the hold up was also where did he go i lost track of the wizard oh there he is oh there's a... wow there's actually a lot of violence here and he can teleport between all of them that's not cool i mean it is cool i wish i could do it but we did get him down almost halfway so that's a good thing okay what might need to happen is just stockpile all of my units at the forefront and then just ray them in there very aggressively Take as much lanes as I can in a short amount of time while the wizard is here as well for whatever reason. Yes, destroy him. I know he's attacking everything, but he's also in the midst of our territory. Ooh, yes, he's down halfway. Good. He's not retreating as well. Okay, there he retreated. So let's start and beat back his forces now so we can start to take over this island. Yes, okay. Just go ahead and eliminate as many forces as we can on this little island. That's gonna be the best thing for us. They have a lot of bees. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna start sacrificing some land so I can get some mana. So now we have enough to summon more archers, which is good. Go ahead and do that. Ooh, the wizard's back. Go in. Get him. Get him. Get him. Beat him senseless. He's trying to attack our barracks. That's cute. Just destroy him. Destroy him and his bees. Okay, he teleported away. Good. Go on back. This is this is quite a tug of war here on just this little island. No, an archer. Everybody all together. Go and destroy the portal. Destroy the portal. Where are all my archers to attack the bees? Oh, the wizard's back. Get him. He stepped into the wrong neighborhood. He's almost down. Oh, he retreated again. And he's, he's back. He, he is really doing a weird dance here. Go, just destroy him. Focus on the wizard. Focus on the wizard. And also take over the barracks because I want these. Man, oh man, he is keeping up the range game here. Okay, this back and forth with the barracks is starting to go really nowhere. So let's go ahead and break this off and regroup. He only has 155 hit points left. We just need a good, strong assault like we just had. And then here's an interesting strategy. We'll actually sacrifice this tile here because it will allow us to get closer to this set of tiles here. So there's less of a bottleneck for us. We just got to ram it lined up nicely. Yes, go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Man, that fu those fireballs are so rude. They just take out so many forces, but they lost this barracks, which is good. And okay, break away so we keep it. Yes. Okay, good, 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 good. And there's also some archers left on the island that ah, are attacking our castle. Oh, that was almost bad. Can our castle heal? Ooh, it can. Good. Okay. All right, so we got a free barracks there. And we'll actually, here's an idea. Let's swap you to be back here so you're safer. So now we have everybody lined up on the islands. Let's prompt an attack from the wizard or maybe not. Okay, you know what? Just go in. Go in and attack the tower right away so we can destroy it, please. Oh, those fireballs are so aggressive. But we can get back to the tower and destroy it, hopefully. Yes. Ooh, and the wizard's right there too. Go on, get him. Get him. How dare you keep playing defensively? I just want this battle to end. That's fine. We're destroying the portal now, which is a good thing. And he is down to 100 hit points. Just need to keep going back in aggressively like this. What I don't like though is how his fireballs can attack the castle directly. We gotta break off from this. Fine, I'll just take this little bit of land and run away. And then also sacrifice the land so we can get more mana out of it. Now our mana is pretty much full. Yes. So now we do have stasis again, but there's also no ground units over there for us to stasis as it is. But we are able to summon archers, so we'll go ahead and do that a few times. Not have them all on the same block, just in case he gets fireballed. And then we can go ahead and attack a different spot. Go on. Yes, the wizard was right there. We're charging in. Good. Tower's being destroyed. Nice. Yes, we did it. We conquered the region. Ha ha! 
<laughs> oh, that wizard put up a hard fight, but we win. Proceed. Ooh, and we could conquer another region, but I'll save that for a different video. Hope you guys enjoyed Hex World. If you want to see more of it, be sure to let me know. And thank you for watching. Sub to intern. And I do want to thank the channel members, including Bread, Mr. Cripple One, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Dakota C, Donomoto, Deviant X, Muffin Stuffer, Lucas S, Splatter Sacks, The Real Nickname, Edward, Peggy Sue, Droop Along, TJB, and Seriously Sarcastic.